Hi everybody, welcome to day 28. We are on our downward hill towards the end of 30 days and 30 ways to clear your energy. And if you like everything that you see and you want to kind of have it all together in one place, I will be putting out a bit of a mini course, just chucking it all together so that you can go and find lots of different activations and meditations and lots of different tips and hints in there that will help you kind of clear out your energy whenever you feel a bit stuck or a little bit tired or struggling. Uh, I tend to find that the combination of everything that I've given will help when you're feeling exhausted, when you're feeling like you've got a heavy burden on your shoulders, when you're feeling really empathic and taking on other people's energy, if you're finding it hard to clear your mind. There's lots and lots of different symptoms that basically indicate that your energy is stuck. And in my opinion, everything that happens to us that leads to illness and exhaustion and frustration and emotional dysregulation, all of that are energy blockages. So if we can find ways to clear our energy on a regular basis, then we have absolute capacity to be healthy and really, really vital and functional. So today I wanted to talk a little bit about that, but it's kind of more in the in the realm of the space around us. So for me, um, it's one thing to kind of clear your mind and clear your body. But one of the biggest things that I also notice when I'm at home is that I actually really need to make sure that the space is clear. So we're talking about the concept of decluttering. Now, cluttering could be anything from leaving a couple of things on a table to having entire cupboards, rooms, houses completely redone. And the reason why clutter creates stagnancy is because nothing's moving, obviously. And when you have a lot of mess and when you have a lot of junk and you don't clean it out, it actually really serves to make it much harder to think clearly and to feel spacious. And I know this firsthand because I've had two experiences in the last seven or eight years where I've had to completely declutter. One was forced due to uh, my house getting really moldy and we basically lost everything. But I'd been not a hoarder but not really throwing out a huge amount over the years leading up to that place. And I literally lost everything and had to start again. And even though it was hard and a big deal, it was actually really liberating. I kind of actually felt super free. And there is this massive freeing energy around clearing something out and making something feel better. What I strongly recommend, because I personally hate doing it, especially if you have to go through cupboards and and rooms and you know I'd much rather be doing something else for me I like to amuse myself with something else you know call a friend or um, listen to a podcast or a book or something like that have something in the background where the decluttering doesn't actually have to feel really hard and heavy it can just feel like something you're doing alongside something you enjoy So decluttering for me in terms of a space clearing is probably one of the most powerful space clearing things that we can do. And there's so many different things. I'll talk about that tomorrow. But the decluttering, the cleaning up, even cleaning your house, what I've noticed is that even if your space is clear and things are tidy and the cupboards are somewhat tidy, even if that's the case, there is something about cleaning a house that completely shifts the energy of it. So even if it wasn't that particularly dirty or dusty, there is just something about cleaning the surfaces and dusting everything and and, and vacuuming and, and cleaning spaces that actually completely shifts the energy as well as the cleanliness. So I'm I'm far from like a cleanliness freak, like not at all. But I do tend to find that I love, love, love my house for the day or two after I've cleaned it. And so I make sure that on a regular basis, at least once a week, I do it like a deep clean of the house and make sure that everything is feeling good. For me, it's all about feeling good. And the way that you would probably assess that is to go into a different room and see how it feels to you. Does it feel clear? Does it feel heavy? Does it feel frustrating? Is there a part of a particular room that you don't like the feel of? Does it feel overwhelming or tiring or stressful? And if that's the case, that's when I'll chuck those earbuds in and and tackle it when you get the opportunity. But 
if you really struggle with that concept of decluttering and you tend towards hoarding, there will be a part of you that potentially needs to work through the process of being okay to let go and the process of allowing yourself to release stuff that doesn't serve you anymore. And I understand so many people go, oh, but what if I need that in the future? A rule of thumb is if it doesn't bring you joy and if you haven't used it in the past two to three years and if it is not a family heirloom that has massive sentimental value, then you can probably get rid of it. Um, that's not going to go for everything. That's a general rule of thumb, but feel into it for yourself. Find, find the things that are creating that stress and that stagnancy in the house and give yourself permission to let it go so that you can actually start to clear the space around you because the space around you is actually such an important part of feeling clear and free and vital. All right. Well, I hope that's really helpful. Give it a go. Go around your house and just tune into it. How does this room feel? Which part of this room might feel a little bit down? And what do I do about it? You know, do I need to just tidy it up? Do I need to just fully go and deep clean it? Do I need to throw most of it out? Do I need to throw some of it out? And it's going to be different for every person and different for every room. So always tune into your body, tune into your feelings, tune into your intuition and keep asking the questions until you feel clear about it. Okay, have an awesome day and I will see you tomorrow.